Bem-vindos, essa é a quarta parte da nossa primeira aventura, Gabriel Knight, The Sins of the Father. Nós estamos aqui na loja da Mandinga. E acho que não tem mais muito o que fazer aqui. Lodestone powder, five finger grass. Tá. Something tells me I'm not in Kansas anymore. <risos> é, realmente, você não tá. Tá pra roubar a registradora? It's old as one at St. George's. Bonito, posso ver. É, eu vou defender, já defender com a vida dele. Se eu der alguma coisa. É, tipo. Isso aqui. Será que ele conhece? Ele deve manjar as. Do you know anything about snake scales? I got some snake root and uh, snake powder, but I order them wholesale. I don't handle snakes. Uh -uh. I don't like them at all. Deixa eu mostrar pra ele a foto aqui do nosso assunto. Olha isso, Phil. Would you mind taking a look at this photograph? Gabri Sanko. De novo. Gabri Sanko? What does that mean? Nothing, man. I didn't say nothing like that. You heard me wrong, man. Nossa, deve ser tipo, sei lá, valei meu padinho se alguma coisa de gênero. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask what you want. I answer what I want. Come on. Oh. Do you know anything about animal masks? The only one left is Willie Jr. over there. The old crocodile. He's sort of a mascot now, you know? I want Willie Jr. About Quanto Willie custa? Jr. Would you be willing to let him go? Hmm. Maybe. For a hundred dollars. A hundred? You gotta be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close, no? I couldn't part with him for less. Osh! E aí, que pode falar de New Orleans? What do you think of New Orleans? I live here all my life, me. Eles falam com sotaque esquisito. Can you tell me what you know about voodoo? This is a novelty shop, monsieur. Do you think I'm stupid? This is a voodoo shop. Look at all this stuff. These is novelties, curiosities. If people want to think they're magic, <laughs> Not my concern, you know. Olha só, safado. Tell me about yourself. My name's Willie Walker. I own the place. How did you get into this kind of business? Now, why should I discuss my business with you, man? Nossa, tu me. Olha para um povo de adventure games, vocês estão bem pouco comunicativos, hein? So, this is a voodoo store, huh? Voodoo? No man. This is a curio shop. Uma loja de curiosidades. Thanks to hear from local folklore. None of it real, I tell you for sure. What about all these magic oils and powders you're selling? Aren't they a part of voodoo? Read the label, man. We make no claims. Sold as curio only. It mean what it say, no? These are novelties, not voodoo. Tá. Você acredita se quiser. Eu faço um chá de quebrando. Se você quiser comprar e achar que vai funcionar, problema seu. Geralmente personagem de Adventure Game gosta de falar a vida inteira pra você. Agora esses personagens aqui estão bem. É. tímidos, não sei. E o museu tá aberto? Tá, oxe. Welcome, my friend. Hello. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. If you have any oxe, questions, I'm to assist. Great. My name is Knight. And I'll probably take you up on that. E aí, Fi? Oi. Dá pra falar com ele? Não dá. Gabriel can do anything. Tá. Vai ser um caixãozinho aqui. The voodoo shrine. Acha? That both fascinate Gabriel and also make his skin crawl. Oxi, mano. Nossa, isso aqui é... Ah, tá, tá. Pode ir atrás. Isso aqui é o... São Jorge. Nossa, cabeça. Will that look sacrilegious? Cabeça pequenininha. Wonder who that poor bastard was. Flyer, que isso? Magenta Moonbeam. Voodooian. Voodooian. Será que é uma mulher que pratica? A flyer advertising Magenta Moonbeam, a local Voodooian. Her parlor is on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. Nossa, isso aqui é uma mão? Olha essa portinha. 
Nossa, Salvador. Essas, aquela cidade. Ó, oh, esse caixãozinho aqui. This coffin is so small. Ai, tem uma criança. This coffin aqui. is so small. Ó, 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 ó. Isso é mandinga, gente. A waste of some perfectly good wine, if you ask me. <risos> Acho que não tá na hora de usar isso aqui. Mas se apontou é porque uma hora eu vou precisar. Oxi, eu quero esse chico. A leather whip hangs from a peg on the wall. Oh, hurt me. Ficou umas piadinhas meio nos 90. For the New York Times. Flickering candles lend an appropriately spooky atmosphere to the museum. Tem um Santos aqui. An official voodoo wishing stump. Rub it and make a wish, a card says. Muito legal. Funny, I say the same thing to women. Olha que filho da puta. I wish Molly and Getty were mine forever. Really, I mean it. What was that? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Quem é essa tia aqui? That must be Marie Laveau. Quem é Maria levou? Quem é que Maria levou? Looking Paul marks the center of the room. Authentic what? Gabriel isn't sure. Wall. The back wall displays various voodoo items such as offerings of fruits to the voodoo deities. Essa narradora fala, ah, nossa, olha esse esqueletinho. Não dá pra interagir. Oxi, nossa, que susto ele desapareceu. Que é isso? A beaded gourd is on display. Tá, um negócio de sei lá o que. Vamos falar do Dr. John. Dr. John is a huge man. If his manner weren't so pleasant, he'd be intimidating. Você duvida, filho? Olha uma cobra ali. A very large, very formidable looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. Tá, tem uma cobra viva aqui. Vamos falar com o doutor aqui. Could I ask you a few questions? That is why I am here. What can you tell me about Muito the historical voodoo or the voodoo currently practiced in the city? Uh, historical, primeiro. Tell me about historical voodoo. Very well. I will start at the beginning, Mr. Knight, and will go on from there at your prompting. Tá. Sounds good. As you may know, voodoo is a grassroots religion formed by the ah, mixing of African coisas. tribal religions African. and Anglo religions. Such as Catholicism or Protestantism. É um banda, gente. Candomblé. It is a religion born of the African slave trade. But African slaves were imported not only by the United States, but also into the West Indies, with the French and Spanish-ran plantation islands. Prior to 1803, the New Orleans area was owned by France. The French Creole in those days owned many African slaves. Creole. But the Creole did not permit their slaves to gather, giving no chance for voodoo to breed here natively. The Creole also knew enough about the corrupted pagan practices of the West Indies slaves to ban the importings of slaves from that region. So how did voodoo come to New Orleans? After the Louisiana Purchase, American legislators relaxed regulations. Slaves were permitted to gather. The Americans also removed the ban on West Indies slaves. Around the same time, a slave revolt occurred in Santo Domingo, what is now Haiti. Between the lifting of the ban and the Haitian revolt, <coughs> West Indies slaves began pouring into New Orleans. Some of them were free people of color, freed or escaped slaves. Some came with their white owners who were fleeing from the revolt. Mm. What happened when the West Indies slaves got here? They brought voodoo with them. The native slaves were more than enthusiastic about embracing it. It gave them power, Mr. Knight. If only in the form of a communal barn. Among the first meeting places were the Bayou St. John and the shore of Link Pontchartrain. The early voodoos were heavy snake worshippers. 
worshipping the one they call the Greek Zombie. O grande zumbi. Vamos falar mais histórico. Tell me more about historical voodoo. By 1817, the voodoo activities were beginning to cause fear among the white slave owners. An ordinance was passed to forbid slave gatherings except in designated public areas at designated times. The time was Sunday afternoons at the place Congo Square. The slaves and free people of color gathered to dance simulations of their voodoo dances right in sight of Creole society. Of course, they also continued to meet in private for the real thing. Mm. Tell me more about historical voodoo. There were a variety of kings and queens at first. Voodoo priests and priestesses. But from about 1830, a single power emerged. This was a voodoo queen named Marie Laveau. Tata. Marie Laveau ruled voodoo in New Orleans for many years. Uh -huh. do... Tell me about current voodoo. Many people think of voodoo in terms of magic spells or gregory. That kind of practice is actually called hoodoo. hoodoo. It is only a part of true voodoo. Mm. Voodoo, the religion, has a strong following in New Orleans. In fact, it is growing quite rapidly. There are several voodoo churches or temples in the city. Terreiros, and né? others all across the United States. African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites, and there are many in the religion, are attracted to it because they think it is exotic. I personally am more interested in the history of voodoo. Some of the new movements are copying Haitian or even African voodoo. But it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. The voodoo of New Orleans is different. Tell me about Marie Laveau. There were actually two Marie Laveaux, mother and daughter. Most people thought they were the same woman. Her continued youth added to the mystique. The original, the mother, was also known as Widow Paris. It was she that began the empire. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. The Laveau too, where one or both of the Maries are believed to be buried, is in St. Louis Cemetery Number no. 1. It is a popular shrine for practitioners and tourists alike. Sure. I myself take tours through the cemetery on a regular basis. Really? Do you have any run in this week? No. But the cemetery is open então, to the general public as well. Então a rainha Vudu está enterrada no cemitério lá de não sei aonde. Tá, fala um pouco de você, tio. Tell me about yourself. Me? Yes. If you don't mind. What is it you wish to learn? Hmm. Why did you open a voodoo museum? The subject has fascinated me all my life. And I wanted to help preserve the cultural heritage it represents. What kind of background in voodoo do you have? Let us just say I cut my teeth on it, Mr. Knight. It is in my blood. Do you do anything besides run the museum? No. The museum does not make me a rich man. But my material needs are simple. I prefer to focus on my one true interest ah. in life. What are your own religious beliefs? My beliefs are too personal and too complex to discuss with a layman, Mr. Knight. Ah. Just tell me anything. I am originally from the West Indies myself, you know. Really? What brought you to Norland? I was drawn here for personal reasons. Hmm. Você não vai falar qual é, né? Tá, então Actually, tchau. I can't think of a thing. Then let us discuss something else. Hmm. Hoodoo. O que é hoodoo? Qual a diferença? Hoodoo? hoodoo refers to magic folk traditions certo. of the south. Hoodoo is a bastard of voodoo. É um filho bastardo do voodoo. Many of the Grigri are similar, but hoodoo does not Grigri, have the religious é... aspects of voodoo. Rituais? Bom, já sumiu também. Né? Ah, o que é esse cabra de sanco? Do you know what Capri Sanco means? I fear my French is not all it should be, Mr. Knight. Mm. Vodou murders. What do you know aí, about voodoo murders? The killings in the newspaper. I know they have nothing to do with true voodoo in New Orleans. Shit. So how is the museum business? Those who truly seek to understand are few, Mr. Knight. But even one can be an audience. 
Sounds about like my shop. Ok, tem mais alguma coisa para ver aqui? Então tem pole, wall, não tem mais nada. Vou dar mais uma saída. Antes de terminar esse vídeo, vamos ver se eu vou dar mais algum. Oxi! Mas eu vou agora para essa bola aqui ou. pro cemitério sendo. Vou pro cemitério. Vou pro cemitério que é da hora. Ouch! Legal. Ah, mas eu tô achando que eu vou continuar esse vídeo depois, gente. Depois a gente continua. Até a próxima.